I have a really bad feeling about this. Ugh. Get a tree. Steam controller with Star Wars Battlefront. This is a, it's kind of a work in progress. I'm still figuring it all out, but it's working pretty well. Um, first, to get this thing working, what you're gonna have to do is add in Battlefront into Steam as a non-Steam game, just so we can get it in there to edit the controller. Go to Game, Games, add a non-Steam game to the library. Find it there, check it, add it. Also, just to avoid any troubles later on, you're gonna wanna go into Origin and go to Application Settings, Origin In-Game, Uncheck. We do not want the Origin Overlay because that is going to conflict with the Steam Overlay. Now, the downside to that is that you're not going to get achievement notifications. Boo-hoo. I mean, whatever. I don't... <laughs> I don't... I don't really care about that, it's not a big deal. Put Steam into big picture, and then we can configure it. So I'm using mouse joystick, the reason for that is on mouse, it because everything else is mapped to controller stuff in the game, just so I get the button prompts. If I had that be mouse, when I was in the configuration menu for loadout, it wasn't rotating the uh, character models, which is a very small thing, but it was bugging me, so I, I set it to mouse joystick. And I always like haptics to be medium, just so I feel it a little bit, but it's not a loud, obnoxious thing. Trackball on. Uh, and then another thing I like to do is have that spin, what that means is when I get to the corner, if I'm holding there, it'll keep moving the mouse, you know, kind of like a joystick emulation. So I like that to be, you know, figuring it's like this at this edge. What I've noticed is when it's up at the default, I feel like it's almost like that. It's kind of hard to even show you. It's just, it's so far to the corner that I, I feel like I never hit it. So I make that a little bit smaller, and then I put the speed all the way up. Which I would actually like the speed to be even higher. I feel like it's too slow. I want more. And another very important thing is to play around with this joystick value. The higher you raise that, the less you want. Like, if you put it up all the way, I'll, you just hold your thumb there and rock, rock your thumb around, and it'll move all over the place. So... If you're getting frustrated with the sensitivities, play around with that value. And then another uh, tweak that I made was on the left trigger on full pull. That's... You know, we got the, uh, the motion tweaking. I have it set right now to yaw, is my steering. You could also change that to roll. So you could roll if you want. But, I don't know, to me it just feels better doing, you know, quick little adjustments like that. And I also put uh, full pull on the right trigger to be the reload, just because the reload in this game is always kind of like that, um... It's always kind of like that Gears of War active reload. So then I can just... squeeze in the trigger. Which I think also is the right grip yeah right grip so that'll be a reload that's a jump which actually it might make that lb that'd be pretty good for the uh jump jet but all right so everything else is in there pretty much like a normal controller but i feel like this this works better now the only trouble i was having was flight controls and that is where that full trigger comes in because you can you know we can uh use motion controls for flying which feels pretty freaking great so let me uh let's just do some like target shooting you can see like with that with the recoil i'm having to pull down but what is convenient is i could also hold that trigger in all the way so then i can just tilt keep myself, you know, wherever 
Or just... It, it works really well for finesse aiming. But look at that. Ooh, that... That is awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna do... T so that... So to get that going, I had... You know, I have it set the full trigger. You can have it to be anything. You can see, I mean, it, it works. I'm getting used to it still. Boom. Thanks. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm kind of going back and forth. I mean, the the flight combat seems kind of the worst part of the game, anyways, which a lot of other people have been saying too. But having that. This feels pretty, pretty nice. I have to get used to it. May the force be with you. Thanks, Akbar. All right, so here, I mean, you can see when I when I pull in the trigger all the way, that just gives me, you know, some nice little subtle motion. I put the sensitivity down to five. The default was, I think, ten or fifteen. Let's bump it up a little bit. The reason I did that. To make it so it wasn't jumpy. You just need to, f to play around with the settings, though. If it's the first part. we need to get to it before the Imperials do. Shut up! I'm trying to talk. Um, you just need to play around with that, though, to get it where you want it. But I mean, you can see, like, I can, you know, I can scan around, do the trackball. The edges will move me. You know, there it's. It's different than a controller, for sure, than an analog stick. It takes some getting used to. But all right, I think that's that's enough. I mean, you get the idea. Oh! Arma 3 with a controller. This might take a little bit of time. Yes, you get the... <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh, shit. Red, the color of my car. Oh, sorry. I think there's a little lame is there. Oh, I suck. You suck so bad, you should be a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I know. Shut up.